Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Snuffle Thrills take on the Philadelphia Evils. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Second down in a lot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll bring up third down and seven. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change this court, did it? How good can it be? If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. Well, they kept it on the ground and got a much-needed conversion. Much like those well-dressed young men who won't stop knocking on my door no matter how many times I tell them, we worship Satan in my house. It's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second and three. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down and forever. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and six. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich?
third down and nine. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. was good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a jump. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Down and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. And that's a run for no gain. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Hot two, hot, hot, eight. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. Is caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. <laughs> and it's first and ten. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and a very lot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and long. That one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod Jenkins. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this rep is so dirty. He should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. I only think how it. If they don't pick it up here, and they've had enough, the offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Man, these 
These guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you want this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh, oh, with a punishing hit. First down and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. <laughs> Second and three. Hot. Hot. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference at home. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Three. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brixton. It means he can return it for, you know what? And he punched his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. And 
and that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in, freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, a lot of the jungle, you know? Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Yelling old fellow. Second down in a mile. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. The defensive player he might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads and kimchi. No matter if anything really tastes good. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Third down and nine. Oh man, he ran! They pick up three on a short pass. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of crap. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Second down in inches. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. 
It's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, shame that Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled, but he had it for a second there. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and six. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two. He picks up five on that play. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this one. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Scrambler.
Second down and five. And the quarterback calls it Sonic, but he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Hey, man, I was hanging on the panel now. They all have. <laughs> through the defense for a big gain. Except pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Uh, oh, and pickles. Gotta have pickles. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's going to have the iq of a rutabaga after that hit third down and eight whoa and he laterals the ball to the player behind him and that's a first down looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night bricks i call that the honeymoon offense no, i'm not going to touch that one that's what she said done for a first down and it's first and ten it's about a three-yard pickup second down and seven First down. And it's first and ten. And he reels that 
going in for a first down to keep the drive alive. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that help, man. These guys are doing fine by themselves. <laughs> they're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. First down, so now they have to punt. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt! Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Ten yards. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Right, the quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Oh, gang, mad kill. Third down and eight. When I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. <laughs> and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a hard grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that. 
that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. First and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Eh, not a ball's feelings are hype. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. <laughs> oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. First and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he runs it in for the touchdown. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> now this should be easy but with kickers you never know hey. it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. What the Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights.
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I got to run to the John. That means I got to deal with that grumpy little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his life savers, dirty comb, hairspray, kick cologne on me. Hey, I'm going to take a crap. Not get ready for a date. Well, you never know who you're going to be when you're in this shit. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the Philadelphia fans are not happy with the Eagles' loss. Someone's going to die today. Yeah. Forget the city of Broadway Love. Now it's all brutal assault. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever going to have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down to the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.